All right. Well, welcome. Uh, what we have in front of us is an opened software program called VCarve Pro. This is the software that I use to program all my items that I engrave on my, my piece of equipment. Uh, VCarve is a Vectric product. Its upgrade is Aspire, and I believe that anything I'm showing you here is more than applicable to use on Aspire. Now, we showed you in just a previous video how to take a raster image, a JPEG image if you would, how to convert it into a vectorized image using uh, free open source software known as Inkscape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take VCarve right now and we're going to show you how to take that encapsulated postscript file and we're going to show you how to utilize it in Vetric VCarve Pro. Alright, here we go. We're going to create a new file. Okay, we're going to set our, our boundaries for our job size, 6 inches by 6 inches. I always go off the top of my material, not the bottom of my, my spoiler board. Uh, I'm going to set my material thickness for 1 inch. You can change this at any time. My datum starting position for me is always center. That's just how I do it. Uh, and my unit is inches and not millimeters. We click OK. Now. I'm going to also open up my tool pass over here and we can bring the job in in a couple of ways. Uh, file, open, go to whatever directory or folder you have your EPS file saved in, pull it in that way. In my case, I'm a, drag, uh, a drop and drag sort of guy, so we're going to pull the moose in. Okay. So I've dragged our EPS file in of the moose that we just rendered in Inkscape. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to kind of get him centered, okay? And I should narrate a little bit better. We're going to go into Transform Objects, Align Selected Objects, and I'm going to hit the middle. Boom. Okay, it's going to put him and align him directly in the center of the, of the work area. If you double-click on him, okay, there's your center, and there's your four corners, okay. We also want to hit the transform object, and we want to select object size. Now, as long as your link X and Y is clicked, whichever dimension you change, it will automatically scale the image on the other dimension the correct, the correct dimension that you need. This is all automated. Um, I know that the height of my job is six inches, so we're going to set the height to him to five. We're going to apply it, and we can see that he's just expanded. Well, we're going to take him up to 5.5, and we see that our width is automatically compensated to 5.2293. Okay, well, that looks pretty good. can double-click again anywhere is on the line. I'm still holding center. Great. Well, we're going to open up a V-carve path. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to engrave them with a 60 degree V bit. Uh, use whatever you you care to use. I'm going to click on my selection mode again. In order for us to render the tool path, we have to tell it what path to follow. Now, we've highlighted our moose. Uh, V-carve. Uh, we can title it moose and then we click calculate. We can close this image out. We can pull up our preview tool pass and I want to set him to black. Preview visible tool pass and pow. There is our moose. There is our raster image converted to a vector pulled into V-carve. We set our, our work size that we wanted, 6 inch by 6 inch. Now, we can, not only can we save the preview image if we choose, but we can go up here to file and we can save the image as the moose, as a CRV file. We've already done this, so we are going to replace it. Uh, and this moose is now all set to pull up and be used at any time.
Okay. Now, one word uh, I will mention. This graphic that I used, I belong to a graphics supplier. Uh, I have a membership with them. Make sure that the images that you're working with, you have rights to use them. They're images of your own or whatever the case may be. We will probably shoot you a video later on about the graphic supplier I use. I, I adore them. They've, they've treated me well, but that's another video. I hope this one helped. Uh, and if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot us an email. Great. Thank you.